you get the call. Dad, there's water in my car. I woke up this morning and there's a pool of water in the center council. I don't know where it's coming from. This is the video I get. So where could the water be coming from? There's a couple different spots where the water could be leaking inside the car from. So it could be the door seals, but this was coming in from like the very top. It could be the windshield. It could be the, the seal around the windshield and it kind of like maybe there's a penetration somewhere. It's an older vehicle, so it could be possibly coming from there. But the other thing I was thinking about is, is it could be the sunroof. Fuck up, sunroof's leaking. No. Number one, make sure the sunroof is closed. In this case, the sunroof was 100% closed and it was sealed. But on older cars, and even newer cars, to be quite honest, the seals around the sunroof are not meant to be 100% watertight. I mean, they try, but it's all, there's always a seam and water could penetrate through there and get inside the sunroof. But there's a gutter system around the sunroof and that gutter system is supposed to collect the water and actually bring it to two or more drainage systems, kind of like a gutter system of your house. So just remember when you're washing your car, when you're reviewing, when you're basically inspecting your vehicle from time to time, check the sunroof, right? Take some time to look at these rails, make sure there's grease in them, kind of inspect everything. Usually the drains are in the front corners of the, uh, the car the sunroof area. So basically in this area right here, and I'll show a little picture or the other and the other area right there. So two typically in the front, and there might be a couple if, if you can get to them, I don't know if you can access them In most cars you can't, but there could be other ones. All right. So just double check and make sure it could be as simple as just kind of cleaning off the debris. You know, and what debris could get collected in there? It could be leaves, it could be uh, just dirt. Um, it could be a whole bunch of different things. So take the time, clean it, take a little bit of bottled water, run it through this top, this top rail, and just make sure that the water can flow and then flow out of the car. So just to give you a little example, and I'll show you a couple pictures of what I'm talking about. In each corner of this sunroof, there's a hose. There's basically a gutter that goes from here and a hose that's attached to it that runs down to the corner to the A pillar, runs inside the A pillar, down to the bottom corner of the front of the car, and then exits right over here. So what you'll see is you don't see it during the rain because all the ground is completely wet. But if I were to take a little cup of water and run it through this little like channel, the water will actually travel through the car and then down and then down onto the ground and you'll see it down on the ground. And that's how you know it's working. You gotta do that every now, now and then. You gotta clean them out, right? Because it's so many times I, I've seen it happen. And it's happened to me twice, you know, where you have to clean that out. If you park underneath a tree, seeing some water, unfortunately, <laughs> leaking inside of your car, this could be the contributor. This could be the problem. So take the time to actually review it and take a look. I'll share some, some pictures so you can see how everything is kind of built and take the time, you know, review these, these areas because the last thing you want to do is wake up and see a pool of water inside your car. And a lot of these newer cars, there's tons of electronics and you don't want to like sacrifice, you know, and, and, and have them get damaged. So take the moment in time, every time you wash your car, inspect it. It could be just as simple as moving that dirt out of the way and then just flushing a little bit of fresh water down there. If you have to, you can use, there's these uh, cleaners, like pipe cleaners basically that you could buy on Amazon. And I'll put a link down below for it. Um, I'm, I actually ordered one. So take that and then there's like a little bristle at the very end of it. Use that bristle and kind of just go back and forth into that hole to make sure that the dirt is completely gone. And then you can flush it out with some water. You can use compressed air, but very, very, very low uh, comp uh, pressure. You don't wanna like risk putting a, comp a compressed air, you know, into that, that hole and then blow the tube that's attached to the sunroof completely off the car. 
because it's a flexible tube that's attached to that, that section right there. So if you blow that off, then you got major problems. Now you gotta like take off, you might have to take off the moldings and you have to take a bunch of things off to get to it so that you could reconnect it. So compressed air, very last resort, you know, and, and very little pressure. Um, just a, a tip, you could use compressed air and use like those computer compressed cans. There's not a lot of pressure in there. You could basically just squirt that little nozzle in there and just basically push, push the air through. The other thing you could do is take some WD-40. It's got a little like nozzle on it. You could put the WD-40 tip in there and just a couple squirts, you know, and push that material down. It'll kind of make everything a little bit uh, uh, slick and the water will kind of exit out really quickly. So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope this is a quick tip for you. Take the time, clean your sunroofs out, and you'll thank me later on. Talk to you later. Peace.